Have you ever been stuck trying to figure out on two meals that you want to make, but you don't know which one you really want to do? Well, you know, today there are two meals that I really love that I'm going to combine together because I really don't know what to do with them. I mean, I want both of them, but I'm just going to combine them and make them one big giant meal that is great for parties, great for families, and great for get-togethers with anybody, friends, anybody. Hi, I'm Jay Simkovitz and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm combining my two favorite foods, lasagna and poutine. Okay, they are, I love lasagna, it's so cheesy, it's so delicious, but I love poutine because I love the french fries, the gravy, the cheese curds. Well, I don't have cheese curds, so I'm not using cheese curds today, but let me show you the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need fries that is correct i'm using straight cut fries you're going to need that you're going to need your cheese whatever it may be i'm using cracker barrel italiano because it, it comes with provolone pizza mozzarella romano and a mental never heard of that whatever that is okay you're gonna need that and you're going to need poutine sauce I'm using St. Hubert because it is the greatest stuff that you will ever get. If you can't find it, then please order it online because I know in the United States you cannot find poutine sauce, but you can use brown gravy that works uh, great as well, but it won't be as authentic as with poutine gravy. So, the very first thing you want to do is open up your bag of fries. We'll slice that open. Okay. And now what you want to do, you're going to pour your fries onto a pan with parchment paper. The good stuff. The good parchment paper in the pan. You're just going to sprinkle it on. And sprinkle little bits of this on. Actually, you need a lot. <laughs> You need a lot of fries. This is lasagna. This is not some little rinky dink little thing. You want a lot of fries. But this is going to be for one person, so this is a good amount of fries. Okay, for me, this is a good amount of fries. So now what you're going to do is you're going to stick them in the oven. You're going to put the temperature on 450. And you're going to bake them for 20 minutes. And 10 minutes in between it, you're going to flip it over so that they can be evenly cooked on both sides. And get nicely golden brown or crispy or burnt. If you like burnt. I mean, I don't. But people are different. So let's go add this into the oven for 20 minutes and flip it 10 minutes in between at 450. Here is my favorite part about this. I love putting it all together. It's just... a uh, magical creation that I just love. It's putting it all together and making something completely yummy out of this. So, I have my fries. They have been taken out. Okay, they're not quite done yet, but that's okay because the factor is you're going to be cooking them again. So, what you're going to need is you need your poutine sauce, your fries of course, your pan that you're going to be using your cheese, and the main factor of all, tin foil. So, this is how we create it. Take your fries, put it down, and you sprinkle your cheese. Okay? Sprinkle your cheese on the first layer. Now, I like mine really cheesy. So I'm going to add a lot of cheese. Now you add the fries again. Okay, be very careful when you're doing this with your hands. The pan is hot. Everything is hot. You don't want to burn yourself. I don't want you to burn yourself. I'm, I'm professionally trained in this so I can do this. So now you got your fries there. And now you're going to sprinkle more fries, more cheese. Okay. 
Oh, look at that deliciousness. Just want to cover it all up the best you can. And if you want, you can eat some of it too. Mm. That cheese is amazing. Now time for the poutine sauce. Poutine sauce. Gonna pour it over all this. Pour it all so it can get in there. Now, originally you saw there was two cans, and that is true. I have an extra can in case I need it, but I don't think I will. Because this looks amazingly good. Mm. Oh, mm. that is so good. Now you take your tin foil. And you're going to cover up this. So now you're going to bake this in the oven. Let me fix that. You're going to bake this in the oven for 20 minutes. But you're going to bake it for 10 minutes first with the tin foil on. And then without the tin foil on for the next, the last 10 minutes. So it can get all nice and cheesy and melted and gooey and delicious. But also you're going to cook it at 400 degrees. Not 450 that we had it on for the fries. But 400 so let's add this into the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes with 10 minutes on the tin foil with tin foil on for 10 minutes and then the last 10 minutes without the tin foil on. Now it's time for the final moment when I took it out and here is the end result of what the poutine looks like. Okay, there it is. It is all melted. I don't have another glove unfortunately because I don't know where it has gone. But I'm going to try to lift this up a little bit so you can see. There you go. There is your poutine lasagna. Now, one thing you have to do is always try it. You always have to try the food. So, actually, I'm going to put the glove on the other hand. I'm going to scoop it into this nice, lovely bowl right here. Oh, look at that. That is so cheesy and delicious. Oh, my gosh. Making my mouth water. Making my mouth water. Do, do, do. Look how cheesy that is. Oh, the cheesier, the better, as I always say. Because it is so damn true. Mm. Look at that deliciousness. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now we're going to take our fork and we're going to get all this cheese to go into the bowl. Now, one thing you have to do as the chef, the creator, the maker, the whatever you want to call yourself, you have to try your food. If you don't, it is full, it is a waste of time to be cooking because all chefs try their food. And here we go. Putin lasagna. Be careful. Very hot. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mm. Nice and cheesy. Mm. Mm. That is amazing. Mm. That is so amazing. Can't get any better than that. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up. Come on. I know we can get 25 thumbs up. Come on. That's all I'm asking for. 25. It's possible. It's very possible to be done. Also, subscribe below, please. Subscribe for more videos. The more you subscribe, the more I can give you videos you want. And also, comment below right below if there's something you want me to create put it in the comments below and i will do it for you as you've seen in other videos i've done it for people all the time so do it
please do that. Also, share this on your social medias and share it with your friends and families. And remember, you guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. You're one of a kind. You're beautiful. And thank you for being part of Cooking Squad. And most importantly, remember, keep calm and cook on.